Hi guys, it is Dean here from the UHE. I'm talking softly because it is, um, it is one o'clock in the morning and people are sleeping, but I can't, I have to do the unboxing of this. So this is the Halo 4, it's the limited edition game and the limited edition console. Um, I did get the limited edition guide, like book thing, but unfortunately I pre-ordered that in a different store and that store didn't have a, a, um, launch party, so I've got to go through there tomorrow and pick that up. Um, but yeah, at the launch I've got, uh, there's like different posters, this one's of Master Chief just sort of standing there, and there's another one, I think this one is where he's like crashed on the rec room, and he's there. So yeah, um, before I get to unboxing these, I will show you some of my other gear. So, um, I picked this up probably about oh, three weeks ago. And it's the Master Chief in Cryo Sleep. So as we can see here, it's the Chief figure with a grenade launcher thingy, whatever the new one's called. Um, yeah. So and he goes in there. I'm not gonna show you because it's a pain in the ass to do, and I'm tired. But I really want to unbox this. So yeah, we got that. I'm just showing off here, but anyway, here's my Reach Legendary Edition. Okay, a look at that. It's a bit dusty because oh shit, there goes a meals um. Emil's shotgun, but as you can see, yeah, it's got entire noble team. It's got like George, Cat, Carter, Emil, and June. Oh, it doesn't have six, but because six is customizable, you know. Um, on the back, yeah, it's got like a noble insignia with something else. I'm not sure what that exactly is. And we also have here. I'll actually, turn this on if I can. So yeah, it's an RC Warthog. It actually does go feel fairly fast, but I'm not showing you that because it makes a noise. And yeah, so it's got the um the chief on the gun. And this came with the anniversary edition. It was just like a bundle. It had the limited edition for anniversary, which came with the skull and yeah, but um it also came with this. These are all, all been picked up on EB Games, except for this one. This is the Legendary Edition for Halo 3. Now, I missed this edition, but I picked it up on eBay. And this is before they used DLC, so I didn't miss out on anything. Um, so, yeah, this is the Master Chief Helmet Legendary Edition from Halo 3. And as you can see, it comes off, and there's like the game, there's like um, the Special Edition game and the Special Edition like DVD thing. Like a featurette. So, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So, I've shown you the posters. But I haven't shown you, I'm actually wearing it, so I've got to take it off. Take it off. Um, not sure if you're getting that. Yes, you are. It's a Halo 4 t-shirt. I've had this for about a month as well. When I, pick, when I picked up the um, Cryos Chief, I also got that. So if you just stay there, I will show you. <laughs> Along with the posters and the games, I picked up these from EB Games. It's a um, Halo 4 beanie, and what you do is, what you can do, which is what I will do because it looks better like this, you can turn it inside out, and it's got like a 4, looks a lot like the Halo 3 beanies I think they had, I think I've seen them. I've also got a UNSC wallet, so you know, I know they're just gimmicks, but I'm a massive Halo fan, so you know, this is my splurge. Alright, now the big, the big, the big one. Well, not the big one, the second biggest one. I haven't opened this, as you can see. Still got the... St still got the st sticker telling you not to, um... Sell before November 6th. So, you know, this is proof of authentication. I'm not sure if this number is, like, a custom number on it. But anyway. So... It'd be pretty embarrassing if I couldn't get this plastic off, eh? on camera. Here it comes. Oh. Alright, come on. Got it. Okay. There we go. The Halo 4. Hope it's still recording. Yes, it is good. Limited edition. So there you have it. It's got like a, I think it's a cardboard sleeve thingy. Yep, which that comes with. 
got the back of it. Here we have, it's like a UNSC, it's called, a, it's supposed to be a UNSC briefing packet, which it hasn't disappointed, it looks like that. Okay, so what have we got in here? Oh, the game. That looks good. Actually, it's like a die-cast, wow, there it is, that's the moment of truth. It's got two Halo 4 discs. It's one of these two, I'm not sure what the two discs are for. I hope we don't have to swap over to do multiplayer and stuff, I doubt it. But you know what this case reminds me of? Just stay right there. How much? Sorry guys, this is probably boring for you now. How much? How much does that look like, the Halo 2 Limited Collector's Edition? Yeah, this is a beat up copy because it's pre-owned, but still, Collector's Edition. Okay, so that's the game. I've got to be careful because I don't want to give away any of my um, DLC. It's a UNSC briefing packet. I think this is the actual packet. Ah, now here's the DLC. So there's the access code. That's the um forward onto Dawn. Um yeah, it's like the DLC for forward onto Dawn. So yeah, there's that. Here is my Spartan like the the, the DLC, it's like Spartan customization, some weapon skins, stuff like that. 14 day trial for Xbox Live Gold, even though I've already got gold. And yeah, that's just like a seizure thing and how not to get them while playing this game. So that's pretty damn cool. So I'll have to do all those in the morning because I'm not playing this game, I'm tired of is having the day off school to play this game. It sounds sad from that perspective, but it really is. This game is awesome. Alright, here we go. Gabriel Thorn Majonia request. Oh, here we go. This looks pretty sick. There it is. I'm not sure I'm getting all that. Let me just. Yeah, I'm getting most of it. It's the um, like a has stop. It's like a poster. It's got has stop, Pathfinder, Orbital Soldier, EOD Scout, and CIO and Warrior. So I guess it's hard to do um, from this angle. Oh, what's this? It's like a packety thing and it's got like a teary bit, so I'm just gonna tear it right up here. Oh, I hate doing that for collector's edition, so I'm gonna tear that up. Sorry I'm taking this out off screen just in case it's DLC or something. I don't want you guys stealing it, but you would, of course. Oh, yeah, this is just about like. This is like the Catherine Halsey, um. Uh, letters, the, the, the diary thing that came with the Legendary Edition and the Limited Edition. It's a lot like that. It reminds me a lot of that. I've actually didn't show that, but I've got it, just so you guys know. Yeah. Do not remove from a stack, read and destroy. <laughs> and here we have... What is this? this? This is like a heavy book. It feels like an art book or something. Just got an inkling. Oh no, this is that, um... That's right. It's, a, it's that. This is like a whole diary. I'm not going to go into detail with this because I haven't read this and I would like to. But, uh, yeah. So, now, this is the grand finale that you all really want to see. I know you all do. I do myself. I haven't seen it yet. Here it is. The Halo 4 Limited Edition Console Bundle. This was actually very good value for money because, um... Well, let's think, like, it's a $100 game at the moment, and they're about $80 controllers each, so let's just round that off to 100 so you got, like, $300 there, plus the console, which is 320 gigs. I reckon it was a pretty good buy, anyway, plus a headset. Um, so once again, it's the moment trip for you and me, viewers. Yep. Yep. 
Aha, sonra su cetemde. Wow, look at that. Power cords. That's exciting. AV cables. You know, for a um a game system that goes on about being in the latest HD, HDMI cables and all that, it doesn't even come with a HDMI cable. So yeah, that's power cords, that's boring. Um, here we go. I've got a headset. Obviously, well, not obviously, but I've already got one of those. But there's the headset. Here we go. Here's something you all want to see. This is a limited edition controller. It's actually, wow, it's actually pretty damn cool. Comes with some batteries. Wow, I like this actually. You can see through it. It's completely see-through, you can see all the little gadgets and gizmos inside there, but... No, okay, so it's supposed to be a blue LED light-up. So I'll just get this working for you. Now you've probably... If you're like me, you've already seen the unboxing videos, so you sort of know what to expect, but... Still exciting, as is. Okay, so that's... Plus... That's minus. Easy enough. Oh, see, look at that. Now it's blue. You getting that? That's the blue light. That's completely um, exclusive to this console and this console alone. Here's another controller. I want to go into great depth about this controller because it's identical to the other one. But you know. Um. Aha. Uh -huh the game itself so you know that's the standard game so now I've got two copies but one will be from my brother um so yeah what is this advertisement for Foxtel on Xbox and here's another one. Oh, a guide for a quick setup don't need that Uh, important information, so yeah, that's just Microsoft gear that I don't need. Now, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, and I've said this before, but this is the best bit, the best bit of the whole video. And I just knocked it over. It's fine, it's fine, it's, it's packaged well. It's designed for that. Dun, 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 dun. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. It is see-through as well. I know it's hard to pick up see-through stuff on videos, but um, oh, I should have just moved the camera. But it looks amazing. It's got the um Halo 4 thing there. So um, yeah, yeah standard ports. You know, you know how it goes. Um, HDMI port. That's good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, this video has been going for 13, 14 minutes exactly now. Without, I haven't even edited in the intro yet, obviously, because I'm filming it. But um, yeah, now it has custom sounds. So I'll get a power cable, and I will be back with you guys in two seconds. Just yeah, all right. So that where those V cans are behind the console is where my collector's editions normally go on my desk and this is normally where my laptop is but obviously not <coughs> sorry my laptop's recording my um and yeah my collector's editions are on the floor <laughs> but uh yeah so this has custom start up and start shut down sounds there are only 11 of these sold at my launch but you know obviously there was you know hundreds of these sold um I was talking to the guy at EB Games, and he said that he's got a Star Wars one, the Connect bundle, and he said he loves the sounds. He would, you can turn them off. You can just go into console settings, blah blah blah. I won't bore you with the, you know, the instructions. But um, yeah, why turn them off? I mean, he said they were amazing. He loved the R two D two sounds and stuff. So we'll do, these are supposed to be in game sounds. So I'll just start it up. I'll just flip this power button here. Okay. 
So we'll turn it on now. Should have a blue LED light. Oh, there we go. It's up. That's the noise it makes. Now it should, probably should have a different tray noise. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Th those are the noises it makes. So I, I, as you can see, blue light. Um, but um, that's probably what the Prometheans, the knights, and etc. make the noise they make. Yeah. So I haven't shown you the um the book because I haven't got the book yet. But you know, I don't think you know it's that. Great. I mean, it's just a limited edition book. It's not like a console or anything. So yeah, this has been Dean from New Age Eighty. My voice sounds weird because I'm sort of half whispering, half talking. Um, yeah. So in the like, I will be playing this game for a very long time now. <laughs> um, this is the first video I've done in person, not via computer. Um, Jesse did an Assassin's Creed Three Freedom Edition video. So if you haven't seen that yet, watch it. But yeah, this has been Dean, this has been Halo 4 unboxing. Um, I am beyond excited, I can't wait to eat this. Um, eat this, play this, I'm starving. Um, yeah. The launch actually wasn't great. I mean, we watched Forward Unto Dawn, which I've already seen. I watched it on Waypoint. Um, but yeah, we basically watched that and then lined up. I'll show you, I haven't actually... Did you get my... No, I don't think you got my face then. <laughs> Um, yeah, but, you got these posters, right? Now, there was just a bunch of them lying on the floor that I said we could just sort of take. So I sort of took three. <laughs> one for me, one for another UAG member. And there was like another one that I thought, I'm not sure if they were double-sided or if it was a different poster. No, it was a different poster altogether, so it's good that I've got that. So that's... See if I can. Hold on. I'm probably you've seen this picture a hundred times over if you're watching this, but yep, it's got that poster there, and it's the same on both sides. It's exactly the same one. So it's got that poster, and then I've got I've got a double up of this picture of this poster here, which is. I think it was like at E3 when Halo 4 was first announced. Um, this was the promo picture of the Chief. So I'm not sure if he has a cod piece or not. I hope he does for the, for the sake of um, putting this poster up on my room. Please have a cod piece, Chief. Oh, this one now is double sided differently. Um, no, doesn't have a cool piece, I don't think. But, uh, yeah. So that's that one. It has Halo 4 written down the bottom. So that'll be up on my room. Hang on, I'm just checking if this one. Maybe we should roll backwards. No, it's definitely different. So, um, there you go. And I've got another one that's exactly the same. So I've just. Oh, by the way, I don't drink V. This was given to me by my cousins who drink it all the time, and they're just, hey, you you love Halo, don't you? Here, take these. And I'm, okay. So, um, yeah, I don't endorse energy drinks. I don't, don't know how they taste, but apparently they taste like shit. But, yeah. Oh, you know what? Just because I'm showing off, I'm in the showy off. Oh, no, forget it. I was going to show you my Red vs. Blue DVDs, but um, it's kind of holding up my aerial at the moment for my TV. But, um, yeah, there's... Bunch of Halo books just there. It's got the Halo Encyclopedia and the stuff like that. Oh, I also bought two new books, which I'm going to read once I've finished playing. Like, I'm reading it at school because we have like a 10 minutes reading before class. So um, I'm reading this Halo Gla Glasslands, which is a new book by Travis, Karen Travis or something like that. And there's another one by Greg Baird, Halo Cryptum, which is a forerunner saga. Um, but yeah. So this has been Dean. Dean. The UAG doing unboxing. It's taken a hell of a long time because I've been showing off. It's 1.06 in the morning on November 6, 2012. Uh, but yeah, so next video, honestly, I have no clue. Don't care. I just want to play Halo. That's all I want to do. So, um, yeah, this has been Dean from the UAG 
after that.